Hey guys, it's Enemy K Swimming Bird, and today we're covering two big pieces of news for Splatoon 2. Now in just a minute, we're going to be able to check out a full match in the brand new spectator mode. But first, the developers have announced dates and times for something I know a lot of us were hoping would happen again with this sequel, Global Test Fire Events. Now just like the first game, these are limited time demos, there's going to be six of them to start happening sooner rather than later. Splatoon 2 doesn't come out until this summer, but these are happening March 24th, 25th, and 26th, only a few weeks after the Switch launches on the 3rd. And from what Nintendo has said, this will at the very least be the demo that was playable at events. I did a video on it not too long ago, if you saw that. We can play on the Reef map, as seen here. Hopefully they'll throw Muscle Forge Fitness into the mix as well, so we can get a little variety. But there will be four sets, we'll have the Splatter Shot, and the buffed Splat Charger and Splat Roller, as well as the brand new Splat Dooleys. Four new specials, one new sub. Here are all the times. I know some of them are in the middle of the night or the morning for a lot of you, but it is global. They want to cast a wide net and make sure you can at least get in on one or two of these. I'm going to stream as many as I can, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Now, speaking of the demo, we're going to get to uh, take a look at the sets and map here, the reef and all those sets, but with a new perspective. This is spectator mode. Now, you will be able to add, in private matches, two extra people. They're not going to play. They can spectate and switch between the team members. You saw there's that aerial view that you can zoom in and out and slide around, but you can also use the control pad as well as A, B, X, and Y to jump to whatever player's perspective that you want to see. So this is going to be amazing for competitive play, tournaments, stuff like that. I think it's really going to push Splatoon forward as a competitive team sport, and hopefully, this is going to be a great way to be able to get in on the action. You don't have to hide in the ink nearby and try to peek in and lower the amount of players. You can also see that uh, you can tell I'm a little uh, a little fatigued from trying to do a tournament in Splatoon 1. But the, the players are going to pop out and kind of stand out a little bit as silhouettes, as you can see here, when you're behind stuff. This is only for the spectators. That's not how it will look for people actually playing the game, because obviously wall hacks, you don't want to have that. But I mean, that would be a kind of a good special weapon to be able to see where people are through walls and stuff. Uh, I guess that's the echo locator. Um, <laughs> but man, you get to see the, the silhouettes in there. Yeah. We'll see. We do have new specials that have not been revealed. The developers said they haven't shown everything by far. They also said in an interview recently that uh, all the weapons are, types are going to return, but they did confirm blasters and, and brushes, which were two they didn't mention, so I'm happy about that. But pretty much every weapon is going to be rebalance so we'll see some nerfs or changes to certain ones and they did mention you know the the crazy vertical flick from a roller there's one right there if that was on the dynamo that is going to be like a charger shooting out so i think they're going to maybe try to balance that quite a bit if they're going to even let dynamos use the vertical flip but anyways as you can see here the spectator mode I am a big fan of this. I'm glad that they added it in because I think that was the main thing keeping Splatoon from being as easy to play in a tournament type of setting because you either had to have somebody playing record the footage or, you know, you couldn't really have commentators jump around onto the action. And now we can pinpoint exactly who we want to see. And if we want to, you know, even get that live map of everything happening by zooming out and sliding around and stuff, which is nice too. But it, uh, it definitely seems like it's going to be something that I will use a lot and try to get some tournaments going. Something I was not able to do as easily with Splatoon 1, as I mentioned, so it is exciting. As you can see, yeah, these are all the sets and, and gear and everything that you guys will be able to play in the test fire if you take part in that. And there's a Stingray shoot, and that's one of the new specials, shooting across. If you did miss a lot of the info on all this new stuff, definitely check out the Splatoon video I did a few weeks back after the Switch event. And uh, yeah, there's a, a couple other things in here that you might not have seen before, including the uh, the level up screen and the gear screen. They've got all these tags with the uh, the abilities and pieces of gear. They are locked at one star. It looks very similar. The developers did say hairstyles and pants. You can choose them, but they're not going to affect gear. So it is headgear, clothing, and shoes that will have those gear abilities. And they kind of danced around whether or not we're going to get new abilities on gear. I think we will because they are revamping lots of specials and stuff. So they want to make sure the abilities are in line with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Check out other Splatoon videos if you'd like. Maybe subscribe, and I'll see you next time.